hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see installation guide of aviva plan skeda 2023 okay so i have downloaded the aviva plan skeda 2023 zip file uh, which is having a size of 1.90 gb and here i have extracted it and the folder size is 2.03 gb okay now we will open this folder and we will double click on this launch.exe to start our installation so if i double click then it will ask me for which feature i want to install i want to install the aviva plan scada 2023 or i want to install the opc factory server so in this video our agenda is to install aviva plan scada 2023 so i'm going to tick this radio button and then i'm going to press next here okay here you have to press next then after you have to accept the license agreement and then again you have to press next now we will install the development workstation okay so development workstation is selected and then we will press next here now if you want to include the plan skeda opc us server then you have to take this otherwise you can leave it as it is and then you can press next but i want to include the plan skeda opc us server so i'm going to tick this checkbox and then i'm going to press next here and uh, add the user windows to this group so we will tick this checkbox and then we will press next here and we will modify the firewall settings so we will you know tick this radio button yes please modify windows firewall settings and then we will press next now i want to change to other directories so i'm going to select d drive okay instead of c drive so here also d drive instead of c drive i'll press ok and then i'll press next so this much of component will be installed after the successful installation so we will press install to start installing those components now we have to wait until our all components get installed so we will wait So here you have to select which drivers you want to install with the Aviva Plan Scada 2023. Okay, so I am going to select all the driver because I want to test Aviva Plan Scada with all of the other drivers available. So that is why we are going to click on this select all and then we will press next here. Okay, again we have to press next here. So it will start installing all the drivers. So here is the backnet setting okay so you have to just press ok here and then it will start installing the backnet driver
Okay, so as you can see here, Aviva Plant SCADA setup summary. So everything is installed in our system. If you want to launch the Aviva configurator, then you can tick this checkbox. And you can see here, Plant SCADA setup has detected that a reboot is required. So if you want to restart your system, then you can tick this checkbox. Otherwise, uncheck this and just press on finish. Okay, now you can go to start menu and you can see Aviva Plant SCADA and you can see uh, all the software related to Aviva Plant SCADA. So you can open your Aviva Plant SCADA using this Plant SCADA Studio. But before that, we have to exit the installer. So just click this radio button and then press next. So I hope this thing is clear. And if you still have any question or any doubt, then you can ping me on WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, anywhere. And I'll try to resolve your doubt as soon as possible. So we will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye and thank you.